I'm the executive director of Coalition S, a consortium of research funders who have decided that uh, the research results coming out of the research that I fund has to be published open access in any way, shape or form. Uh, so we represent uh, 28 uh, research funders uh, in Europe and in the world, uh, it represents about 35 billion euros in research funds, funds annually with about an output of a, a, around 150,000 articles. So we develop policies to in, in order to make sure that you know researchers are able to publish their research in open access. There's a, a lot of it is, has to do with rights retention, but also with publishing in gold open access journals and in diamond open access journals. And, um, this my other expertise is is as an editor of a journal, the Diamond Open Access Journal. Diamond Open Access means that authors do not pay uh, for a publication and readers do not pay. So this is a model where the costs are borne by uh, the public purse and by volunteer work. Um, uh, often libraries invest in that uh, and and other uh, and other funders. My journal is called Glossa, a journal of uh, uh, Journal of General Linguistics. Uh, it publishes about 120 articles a year, so it's a, it's an intermediate journal. It's not a big journal, but it's not a small journal either. Um, and um, that expertise gives me a lot of uh, know-how of how an actual journal is being published, and also what the the costs are that are associated with it, associated with it. With it, in our case. Uh, Glossa is part of the Open Library of Humanities. The Open Library of Humanities is a, a, a Bergbeck College-based uh, outfit that uh, publishes about 30 journals, and uh, they do this on the basis of a consortial model of funding. The consortial model is a model where various libraries around the world, around 300 in, o in the OLH case, uh, contribute money, uh, relatively small sums, in fact, to keep those journals alive and to pay for uh, copy editing, uh, typesetting, and for the submission system, Janeway, that we use for the journal. So that combined experience that I have as both, both as an editor with my feet in the mud, so to speak, uh, uh, publishing uh, papers uh, uh, every week, uh, and uh, my work at Coalition S combined in order to, you know, make get, make Diamond uh, Open Access uh, more uh, more of a reality, which is something that I really like, because I think you know Diamond Open Access is the most equitable model. It's a model that does not require authors to have money to publish. Uh, it is uh, our papers are also published in CCBY, which gives uh, uh, everyone access to 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 that work. CCBY also means that uh, anyone in the world can cite those papers as long as proper credit is given. So that is a, that is an important issue. But what is also often forgotten is that it gives authors the right to reuse their work as they as they see fit. Very often, and this is an interesting anecdote, I have authors who, after the fact, you know, three years, three months, six months later, write to me and say, oh, uh, Johan, can I uh, can I reuse my work because I would like to publish it in a book or I would like to reuse parts of it in a new article. And then I have to say, them, say to them, well, look, sorry, but I have no rights to your article at all. I mean, uh, Glossa as, an, as a journal has no rights to your article. You have the rights to your article because it's CCBY. Uh, and and so that always gives me great pleasure to point out to them that they have the rights even if they didn't know it. Um, so this is something that I'm always very very proud of. It gives me great pleasure to be able to to say that, and it gives me great pleasure, of course, that everybody in the world has access to the journal and to the uh, and to the articles in it. It really means that everybody, and we see that also in the number of downloads and the number of uh, and the number of reads. Um, we see that lots of people have access to it. Our, uh, for instance, our greatest readership is in is in Mexico, which is something that I would never have known had it not been for the for, for access to you know where our readership comes from and where the downloads come from.